Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Professional Permaculture Designer. I am Pete Wyden, your host. Got a new setup in front of me, new mic. Uh, well, actually, it's one I've had for quite a while. Just got back inside uh, from watching the red-bellied woodpeckers. There's about five of them playing around on a silver maple tree right outside my place here. The um, cardinal is giving its territorial calls. We just had a beautiful blood moon uh, going on last night. It's just been a wonderful start to spring here in the Northern Hemisphere in Minnesota. I hope you're having a beautiful time and that there is a lot of cool wildlife surrounding you. Even if you're in the city, there's always something interesting to be found. And this week we're gonna really look at some aspects of growing your business and what it takes mindset-wise, process, etc. Uh, so I'm really excited to get into that. I also have a couple more spaces I've opened up for mentorship because we're getting into the springtime. It's time to take charge in your business, time to get uh, out there, connect with the people who are going to be the most congruent clients for you and your business, the type of work you want to be doing uh, on a daily basis in the season going forward, booking yourself out to the just the perfect amount of clients that you want to meet your income goals and um to really get the type of systems in the ground you want to see functioning and providing for people and the planet. So reach out to me via PM or comment below if you want to talk some more about that. Today, we are looking at some signs that you're ready to grow your business. And you know, if you're, if you're finding yourself in your every day, it feels stagnant. Maybe you're at a, a job you've got to work to pay to additional, um, bring in additional income, pay the bills. Maybe you are full-time in your business, but it's just it's not feeling exciting anymore. There are a few core reasons for that. We'll get into a couple of them here. Um, definitely leave a comment below if you'd like to explore more of that and really sh just a simple shift in perspective for you and your business to bring you from the point of feeling stagnant, feeling overwhelmed, and then moving into this place of being excited, having a lot of space and lightness around what you're doing. It's completely possible. And really, it all comes down to taking responsibility for the environment, the situations, um, the scenarios you're creating for yourself on your daily basis in your business and life, and seeing how we can shift those around. Um, it's really not that hard. Our emotions often get in the way, and we'll talk a little bit about that as well. And if you're working another part-time job, part or full-time, you find yourself spending that time working on your own business ideas or projects, there's a reason for that. You know, if this idea is coming up again and again and you just can't get it out of your head, there's a reason. So what are some of the pieces that might be in the way? Of course, there's the uncertainty potential uh, around Am I going to be able to bring in enough income? Am I going to actually make this work right away? What does this transition look like? Because you might not want to do just a hard line of I'm quitting my job and now starting my design business. And that is totally possible. Uh, I've seen people do that with success. It def definitely takes some of the right um, stacking, some of the right intentions and planning and uh, booking out some, some jobs before you actually quit. Um, but... What does it look like for you uh, on a daily basis? Do you find yourself taking time away from the other things that you should be doing to pay the bills that aren't related to your design business? Um, do you find yourself working on aspects of the business, maybe your website, maybe it's just research and education, maybe it is actually reaching out to find clients, which could be one of the most effective things you could do if you're trying to grow your business. But I know that when I had uh, jobs working for other people, even when it was more ecological design that I was doing, if I was working for someone else, I honestly, I, I just often felt like I was building their business for them. And in one scenario, I definitely was. And I learned a ton, um, but it really came down to, do I want to spend my time and energy um, this year, next year, and so on, building somebody else's business, or do I want to have something I can really take with me and have as an asset in my own life that's bringing money directly to me rather than relying on somebody else to continue paying me um, and, and also relying on somebody else to okay my decisions that I wanted to make in terms of how the business was functioning on a daily basis and how that affected my own lifestyle. It it's, uh, plays a big role in the rest of our lives in terms of what our professional life looks like. And it's, it's um, ideal to have those, you know, not bleed into one another. But if you got a bad day professionally, it's easy for that to affect your, your home life as well, which is, of course, it's ideal if that's positive, but not if it's a negative thing in your life. So 
if the idea of having more revenue in your design business is exciting, but some something keeps getting in the way, like what is that? It's probably some type of doubts or irrational fears that get in the way, such as, oh, I, um, I'm concerned that the clients I'm working with, if, if they're into permaculture, are going to know more than me, or I'm going to mess up on a design and some technical aspect and it's going to ruin my business, or I don't even know how to start pricing and packaging or what to charge or how to increase the prices for your services. Um, if you have the idea of wanting more revenue, there's a reason. There's, there's never uh, the thoughts that come up for you that keep recurring that are, that are this like core, this deeper inspiration of, I would really love to be making more money, but what is that but and why is it there? Because you can make a decision on whether or not that sticks around and keeps you from actually growing um, or whether you can actually begin to dissolve that and change your perspective and change your actions on a daily basis which that changing the mindset can change your actions because it allows you to make moves that you wouldn't otherwise make and see opportunities you might not otherwise see. Um, so taking a real honest look at what's getting in the way, this is a common theme in my videos because I found that 80% of being an entrepreneur, being a business owner is personal work. Is that personal work around the emotional, spiritual, mental aspect, um, taking the actions, getting the right behaviors, um, disrupting patterns that aren't serving you in your life and how you react to certain situations. You know, if you're fed up with just getting by, with just breaking even, whether that's in your full-time design business or part-time, um, you know, it's time to give yourself the gift of that honest look. So definitely leave a comment below, reach out via PM if you're interested in talking more about, um, you know, what's going on for you because this isn't something that you have to live with, this this feeling of, I really wanna grow but I don't know how or there's something in the way. Um, you know, obstacles are only as big as we make them. We can actually reduce them to a minuscule thing um, as we take a different approach to what's really happening and what's in front of us. And if you're also, if you're interested in talking more about one-to-one -one mentorship, really diving deep in and breaking through these things in rapid sequence to really um, set you on an upward trajectory right away, um, definitely reach out via PM or comment below. I'd love for you guys to con continue the conversation here in the comments. Let's get this going. Like what's going on for you? What is your goal? Like what do you want to grow your business into? What does that look like for you in terms of income, types of clients? Um, how does that change the way your life looks on a daily basis? Let's talk about it. Let's get it clear. Let's get it out in the open. That's the way that it's going to come into your actual everyday reality. Have an awesome week, guys. Super excited to um, follow up and uh, stay in the game here with you. Bye.